First, I want to apologize on behalf of the, of the Boy Scouts of America for uh, discriminating against young gay scouts and preventing gay scout leaders to be part, to be part of our club and our association. We are, we, I apologize for that we put ideology and religious principle ahead of the needs of children and youth. And however, that is not our control. That is not in our power to control who gets, who gets accepted into uh, our community. Unfortunately, 60% of funding for Boy Scouts of America comes from religious associations. And that even if it's not, it's not in now, it's not, it's not, it's not in our power to uh, determine who gets accepted into our, our society. And, uh, and the majority of the parents of the Boy Scouts Association say that they they disapprove of homosexual behaviors, and that. Uh, and we see this as, rep as a representative of a societal problem in itself. And according to Nancy Nauer, a professor of Temple University, who wrote in the Kentucky Law Journal that we have to look at the historical background of homosexual uh, acceptance in American society. And that it was not until 1973 that the American Psychiatric Association took homosexuality off me the mental illness list. And that, even, and, and that even after, and years after that, people still saw homosexuality as a depraved act, as psychopaths, and that they preyed on children. And this attitude still persists today in the religious community, and, and including the religious community that backs the Boy Scouts of America. So please do not blame the Boy Scouts of America for what we do, but, we should, but please look at where our we, our hands are tied. Imagine you, your workplace having a policy that women get paid less than men, which is the reality, according to uh, Marlene Kim, professor of economics, that the majority of women work the same, who work the same jobs as men get paid less, get, pay, get paid less than men. If you, if everybody, were, if you were to strike or protest against that, you would lose your job. You would have no way to pay your bills or anything. Unfortunately, we, we, are, we are tied to the, the restrictions of our culture and society. We, we have tried appealing to the, our sponsors, to the parents who, dis, who disagree with homosexuality by citing sources such as uh, Kazi Rahman from the School of Psychology of the University of East London, who found out that homosexual, homosexuality can be predicted and is a and is in, in, in their DNA. And that, and that there are many, and, and America is, the, the scouts in America are the only scouts, are one of the few scouts in the world that, that discriminate against homosexual children. In Germany, Sweden, England, they all accept homosexual children and uh, homosexual scout leaders. So it is, it is not, it is not up to us. It is up to the culture and, and for us to convince and persuade the sponsors and the parents who disagree with homosexuality to, to reconsider their views, to reconsider that maybe homosexuality is innate and maybe a God, uh, a God, a beautiful creation by God. Thank you. Uh,